It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They begin on the ground with Camaro. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They run it again with Kamara. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw here, Dalton. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be all throughout this game. Watching it take away that area of the field. Now it's a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing, Dalton. Looking long for Thomas. And unable to connect, incomplete. I give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Fielded just inside the 20. They'll get nine following a punt of 42. And they have it taking over first and 10. Here first and 10 at the yard line. Anders, and he maneuvered. Well, that's just a punt. That's when you kind of find out who's a tough stand up and make a play. But for both sides, walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the one, Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. Call it a gain of three on the plot, and that'll bring us to a third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first, going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. That's what you count on, and I like which game long. They catch it, you tackle them, they buy. Because when you do that and you don't give up big chunks of the catch, now you put the offense in the board. Everys, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you... Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Safe to say that a Sice's route supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite a precise in college ball. That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. It's a second down run with Sanders. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. It's 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Taken down by Pete Werner. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second and seven, Hurts. Looking left sideline, incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Burt sets up to throw it. Going for it all. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive that'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today for him. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Dalton, first and 10. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing again on second down. Dalton, and he's got the hook up to Landry. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. There's Chris Olave. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Run of the jet sweep, Landry. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. To throw on second and six, Dalton. And this one taken in by Alave. And he's going to get this down near the 25. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Dalton's throw taken in by Landry. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Now Dalton with a first and 10. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But if you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, OK, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. And now to the air, Dalton. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Hassan Reddick. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports.
The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. The kick by Lutz is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Now he's flushed out left. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I see what they were trying to do there, trying to find some dead space in the middle of the field and take their shot right there. A really good idea, but it winds up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And they're going to get this up to midfield. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. second down but it'll wind up incomplete and you just know when that play call came in their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield that's a lot of fun and they missed an opportunity the offense on third down tonight they've been okay two for three thus far they're looking at third and a few inches and they'll try and run the option to pick it up and he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Another run with Sanders. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. 
It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Play action. Here's Hurts. The Sanders has got it complete. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So the drive will indeed continue. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing his hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Hurt's going to give it to Sanders on the option. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And able to work his way down to the 16. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. So all field goals so far, 6-3 our score as the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... 
That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. On second and 11 now, Dalton. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They look to throw on third with Dalton. Forced out to his left. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. They run. It's Kamara. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Deep in the red zone, seemed like they had their mind made up that that was four down territory, and now they've got it inside the five. I like the way you looked at that because you're thinking just like a play caller and a head coach who gave the play caller that authority. It was four down territory. They went for it, picked it up. They didn't get the touchdown, but what a great consolation prize. A new set of downs and another shot at the end zone. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Again, it's Camaro. And he gets it a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five and the four. the touchdown grab as his guys have now moved out in front and down near the goal line here they're able to throw it in and the key word quick quick hitter out of his hands fast into the receiver's hands even faster Lutz good on the extra point and that will make this a four point game
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. They've been settling quite a bit. They've been able to move the football some, but they've just been settling. That's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard. I love that word you picked, settling, because nowadays in this NFL, you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high-powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Hertz to throw. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Hertz dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. If the ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. From the 45 on second down, Hurts. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. They'll set up to throw. Sanders has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Looking to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Over the middle to Smith. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one.
So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Hurts sets up to throw it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Devontae Smith as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Saints going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A run there on first down gets three up to the 28. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He'll look to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Hurts finding Goddard there, first down, Philadelphia. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. But first down, Hurts fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now back to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And a short gain down to about the 33. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, 
but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. He'll drop to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal as he's out of bounds at the six-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They go play action with Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start the drive from the 25. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here. And things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Passing, it's Dalton. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that could really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Dalton now to pass. They'll get this out to Camaro, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. 
And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Five yards remain on second down. And Dalton to throw. And this one is incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Dalton. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Kamara gets it again on second down. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 26. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. Another. The ball is out. Kamara fumbled it. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll drop to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Hurd's going to keep it again. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Throwing his hurts. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Oh, good move. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Dalton. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They got to get to the 23 here on third. So Dalton now. That's going to be caught along the sideline. And what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Kamara up the middle. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. That was a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll pound it up the middle with Camara. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Throwing, Dalton. He's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. Hassan Reddick getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. And there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 25, here's second and six. 
Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Hertz to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Andy Dalton. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. They'll give him four yards there. And now it's third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They look to throw on third with Dalton. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, we've got third and five of us. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 15. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Ooh, the juke. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Hurts. Over the middle complete. That's Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front. 
because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 44, Hurts. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Pete Werner. And the Saints are right back in this football game. Their D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves, because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. Yeah, go, hey, let's go, boy. Let's go. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. They run with Sanders off the option. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I think it's safe to say that that was not his primary target when the ball was snapped. And then he led him too close to the sideline, and he ended up with a loss on the play. Yeah, great toe tap, but you lose yardage, so you wish he didn't even have the toe tap. Wish he would have been out of bounds. Yeah, catch it. Just make sure you're out of bounds, right? Just don't get it all down as he did there. 
This is Smith with a grab. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially touchdown, Eagles! Quez Watkins. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Dalton with a first and ten. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Throwing on second and long, Dalton. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. 
And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Dalton right back on the horse after the pick six. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 35 on second down, Dalton. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. sideline but they say already out of bounds and the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field and that brings up second down and that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall it's been a blowout it's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other and it'll be Dalton again Drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Third down, a shot here for Dolph. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Dalton's throw complete there to Johnson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Defense, 
There's Dalton. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles. But in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked at the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.